Third on the sports clock is awarded to the birth of two of England's most successful stars in different ball sports, Jimmy Anderson and Justin Rose. Anderson was born in Lancashire in 1980 and his childhood dream was to play cricket. It became a reality with a first class debut for his county in 2002, featuring for England just three years later. Fast forward to today, he owns a fast bowler world record with 589 wickets at international level and the most for England in both Test and ODI, while also being named as an OBE in 2015. Rose was born two years after Anderson in South Africa, with his parents relocating back to England when he turned five. This signalled the beginning of his golf game and by 11 he had broken 70 and he had a plus three handicap by 14. His notable achievement since turning pro in 1998 is the 2013 US Open win which made Rose the first Englishman to win a major since 1996 and the first to do it at the US Open in 43 years, being made an MBE in 2015 and an Olympic gold just a year later. In front of a home crowd, Uruguay become the first team to lift the World Cup. 13 teams took part in the inaugural competition and Argentina advanced to the final with a 100% win ratio like La Celeste. Uruguay's Pablo Dorado struck on 12 for the honour of being the first scorer in the final, but Carlos Pucel pegged his country back just 8 minutes later. Guillermo Stabile reversed the scoreline before half-time, leaving the home outfit much to do after the break. And they relished in the challenge with 2 and 11 minutes from Jose Thea and Victoriano Arate on the 68th. Argentina looked destined for defeat as the dying embers embarked and Hector Castro confirmed the first of two Jules Rimet trophies one minute before time. Another 4-2 in the World Cup final is also won by the host nation, this time 36 years afterwards as West Germany fall to England. While Sir Ralph Ramsey's side obtained the home advantage, their opponents had the experience of being in the situation in 1954 winning on that occasion. And they went ahead with 12 minutes played, finding the bottom corner from just inside the box. It took just 6 minutes for an English response, Jeff Hurst climbing highest from George Cohen searching delivery. Another wouldn't be seen until Martin Peters put England ahead on the 78th, but it wasn't late enough, Wolfgang Weber pouncing just before the whistle to force extra time. The three Lions rallied in the extra period, particularly Hurst, who added another two for the first World Cup final hat-trick and England's only major trophy to date. So, the sports clock podium for July the 30th is the birth of Jimmy Anderson in 1980 and Justin Rose in 1982 in third, both going on to achieve greatness in cricket and golf respectively. Second is the first World Cup final, won by Uruguay in 1930, and top of the pile is England's only hoisting of the Jules Romain Trophy in 1966.